Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. Today is going to be a chatty video and I'm just going to sit here and like chat to you guys. It's another way of probably getting to know me and what I'm really like. So yeah, um, but still, the chatty video is going to be about the time that I lost my hair. Like you guys, I've been known to, um, I'm... I've been natural for five years now and I'm quite um, an experimental natural because um, I always tr I always try things out I'm very impulsive as well so it means I'm always like <laughs> I'm forever like trying things like an impulse like I'll have hair for like one month and then like natural hair for one month and then I'll wake up one morning and kind of think like I want short hair and then like I'll cut it or like I'll cut the sides or like I'll color it I'll do something crazy basically and yeah this was one of the times that I kind of like I had quite shortish hair and I will try to include the pictures at the end of this video if if I can but if I can't just I had shortish hair and um I remember just waking up that morning and thinking I actually want blonde hair like I want my hair to be blonde well I wanted it for a long time but I didn't think that it's gonna look nice on me and but then I thought you know what I want blonde hair it was like one of my impulsive moments so I went to the uh, to Boots and got myself hair color and like personally like bleached my hair the bleach looked great as I was like bleaching my hair and yeah it was all fine until I washed it out when I washed it out I it was kind of like more yellow like my friend would nickname me Juracell, like a Juracell. It was just um, not the color that I wanted. So I thought, you know what? To get it to the color that I want, like a dark, rich, no, it was like kind of like a whitish yellow. It was not done properly. So I thought, okay, to like make it darker, I'm going to go like and get another hair color. I knew that you can't do that within days of each other. But I'd never had, like, I'm quite lucky. I've always had, like, great hair for most of my life. And I really have never had, like, a hair problem. Like, I've never had, like, problem growing my hair or with anything. And I've I'd quite relaxed my hair, like, a, a couple of times. Like, put chemical and relaxed it a couple of times. So I was quite, like, I'd used chemical in my hair before. I was quite, like, I thought I was fine with it. So, um, I went out again the second time, I think skipping a day, I like, um, dyed my hair blonde today and then skipped one day and went back the following day to, to Boots to get another hair, um, another hair dye to get the color to, it's what I wanted it to be, to look like. So when I got to Boots and um, I got the hair color, came back home, I was like, I guess the better advice of my sister, my mom, my friends, they're like, you can't do that. Like in uh, my mom's friend, you cannot do that. Who used to be a hairdresser? You can't actually color your hair like twice like that. You're going to damage your hair. But I was like, well, if I damage my hair, I can like chop it all off and start again because I'd done it before so I wasn't really fast about my hair being done like damaged but anyway I um I like got the dye and dyed my hair again the second time when it came out again I wasn't really happy with the hair color and I thought okay this has seriously gone wrong by because by this time I did look like a Jerusalem so and it did not suit me it just looked weird like very very weird so um I then decided to like color it black again skipping another day the earth the following day I decided that I was going to color it black again 
and I was um, not only gonna color it black but I was also gonna relax it because it was quite short it wasn't that long at this time it was like a toi like a mini afro so I decided okay I'm gonna not only color it black again I am going to um, relax it as well which is you're probably thinking are you serious yeah, I actually was so chilled out and I am quite carefree and like, I don't care. Like, it doesn't, let's just say like, I'm not that vain. Like, I'm not worried about my looks that much, you know? I, like, it doesn't worry me a great deal. Like, how I look isn't, I will try looks and I will, I've gone wrong so many times and I will play around with my look because, heck, you only live once and... You know, like, life, too, life is too short for me to, like, focus on the stupid things. Like, if I want to try something out, I will try something out. But this was mega, mega stupid, obviously. So, um, yeah, I, um, did this. I dyed my hair black and colored it and relaxed it. The same, the same um, chemical was a hair color and a relaxer. I think it was like um, black and beautiful, dark and lovely. Dark and lovely it was. And when I put it on, I like, I, I was with my friend at this time. My friend, he's a white guy. So he's, um, he's talking to me about hair, like about the hair and how it's interesting, like, like how African hair is interested. So we're having this conversation and I'm actually reading the instructions on this box and like I'm telling him like when you keep it too long it burns and you know and he's like he's actually getting like really stressed about it because he understands that this is the third time that I've just put chemical like a really strong chemical to my hair. So he's like, um, I think you should get it off now. I'm like, oh no, it feels a bit burny, but like my hair can handle it. Plus I've been doing it for a really long time. So it's going to be fine. Wrong. It's not going to be fine. So, um, yeah, I, oh, shit. I actually like waited. I think it was 20 minutes. Yeah. Pretty dumb. I waited 20 minutes with it on my hair and then went into the bathroom to wash my hair out. I'm never, like that day will always live with me. I will never forget the feelings that, <clears throat> that came that day. Like I thought I didn't care about my looks that much. It didn't matter to me. Like I wasn't so vain until this happened and guys i'm not kidding you like when i went to wash my hair chunks like chunks out of my hair just came out like it was chunks and i was left most of it fell out as i was washing my hair and my scalp was so burnt i had like wounds everywhere i wish i could find the pictures it used to be in my iphone and i lost my iphone not that long ago and the pictures were there like all of them were there like i wish i still had the phone because i'd kept them i needed to show you guys but like i don't i obviously don't have it so but the few that i've like put and my start and stuff I had to like <sighs> I washed my head anywhere with the f help of my friend and literally it was burning so even after I'd washed it enough because there were like wounds in my hair I could not like I just could not mm, I could not like just deal with it like I could not wash it properly and I knew if I don't wash it properly there's gonna be some chemical left in and it's gonna continue to burn and as I wash it was horrible such a horrible experience but then I did manage to help with the forced help of my friend who like forced me like into washing it all off like because I'd washed a bit but I couldn't it was so sore like I couldn't do it like I couldn't take it all off so 
we washed my hair then and after a while like my head come down but not really come down i went to casualty like um accidents and emergencies here in belfast it was um royal hospital and when i went to royal hospital literally they did nothing to me they were like well i don't know whether it was that they i don't know what it was but they did they just seemed to not know what to do like they were like okay you have to go home and obviously shave it off at this point my hair was stuck to my wounds so they go they said okay you have to go home and just basically um um cut off the whole hair and let it breathe and hopefully the wounds are gonna like i'm not kidding they didn't even give me a cream or anything and to this day, I wonder why that was, whether they just didn't know what to do or anything. So I came home and a friend of mine then that had worked in a salon for a really long time told me, do you know what, like cut all of it, like shave all of it. I had to shave my hair like bold. It was bold. There is no hair in it. I had to shave, like you have to shave your hair basically bold and take Vaseline and like apply it, every time you go to bed like take Vaseline and put it on on your wounds and I couldn't sleep for ages because it was like huge wounds like huge like I actually never thought I'd ever grow hair again like I truly didn't think that that's gonna be possible but the wounds healed I had scars for a while and like literally about six months, I think I was dealing with my hair bald completely. I went out to like try on a few wigs and cause I couldn't deal with like going out. They're so cool. So say, so professed. I don't care how I look. I can handle anything. I couldn't actually go out with my hair. It was that bad. And then I um, went out to get wigs. The wigs didn't look great on me. It, like sunk me in because I'm quite small and my face is quite like tiny I'm like quite petite and the wigs that I tried on all of them kind of like sunk me in and I'm in Belfast we don't have a great selection of these things I don't shop online I'm not sure I want to like shop online and then like be sending it back and forth to get the right one it was a nightmare absolute nightmare like I just it's oh yeah so what were the lessons I've been a bit cautious with my hair since then like I'm very careful not to annoy my hair that too much I'm I'm, I'm full natural now like I'm a full natural hair of course that's just um an addition like my hair is under it I think you guys can see that's my hair on top there but yeah like to make it look fuller I usually like put um an attachment on it and yeah it's healed pretty you could still like tell in the sides it's still like getting there but um yeah for the most part guys it um uh, it healed and i have hair i have really long hair i'm just um and it's all natural like i do not put any chemical to my hair i don't use anything anymore like chemical wise like relaxers or hair color i'm just stayed clear of it i'm just terrified of that stuff so yeah that is my story what can you learn from this like Honestly, I was one of those people and I'm quite careless like I gained weight now because I kind of like thought I'm the kind I used to be really skinny I, my whole life until lately like the past three four years I was always like a size six to eight and then I was one of those girls that believed that could eat anything and I literally will put on nothing and for years I did that but then like after like once I got, I moved out of home and like moved in alone and I didn't, decided that I was too smart to bother with food, cooking food. I just ate takeaways kebab all the time and like that same habit of it can't happen to me, I don't really care. That is what got me there and it was the same way with my hair. Like I ha always had great hair. I didn't really care much about it and I didn't think... 
anything like that would happen to me. Like I would lose my hair and stuff. I still count my blessings that I have hair now. Cause honestly, I thought I, my whole life I'd have to like resort to like um, wigs and something to like cover it up or some, I don't know what I would have done anyway. But yeah, I've learned then to like take care of my hair and like be more careful. And when I get up and I have an impulsive moment when I just want to do crazy stuff because I'm impulsive like that, I usually always remember. And my friends, I've told my friends and my family, my sister, everybody to always remind me like, do you, do you remember what happened when you like rushed into things and you thought nothing's going to happen? So I've always developed, I've since then I've developed this way like, before you do anything, think of the worst possible outcome. And if you think you can deal with that outcome, then go ahead and do it. And usually for an impulsive person, that really stops me. I probably should I should do a video on, on impulsiveness because Jesus Christ, like I've had my my fair share of crazy stories. But anyway, guys, that was my story. I hope you guys, it makes you at least think about like messing about with your hair and stuff. Cause yeah, I am like dedicated um, to it, keeping my hair now and like taking good care of it. So I guess you can say I learned the lesson, like I needed the, lo the lesson or whatever, yeah. But yeah, that's my story. I hope you guys like um, enjoyed the video. I will try and make more story times because I have so much things to tell. But yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you like my videos. That would mean a lot to me and I answer all my comments. So yeah, guys, like let me know what you think about the video. If I should do more, tell me. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And... See you in my next video. Bye.